add redundancy to your heaters and save your tank for about a hundred bucks. Hi guys, I'm Randy. And on today's BRS TV How To episode, I'm showing you how adding a low cost reef keeper aquarium controller to your heaters can save your tank from potential disaster. As many of us learned the hard way, one of the most common tank failures can result from a heater being stuck on or off, and on a long enough timeline it can happen to everyone. This is why adding multiple layers of fail safes to our heaters is nearly as important as the heater itself. And the most affordable way I've found to do that is by spending a few extra bucks and getting a reef keeper light to control them. Not only is the reef keeper an effective aquarium controller capable of monitoring and controlling nearly all of our reef gear, but it's also a very cost effective option as a standalone temperature controller. By adding it to my system, I now get an additional layer of redundancy to the heater's internal controls, as well as audible and visual alarms should my tank temp be lower or higher than my set point. Couple that with Reef Keeper's head unit, which displays my current temp in real time. This combo is a home run in my book. So let's show you how to set one up. I'm using an Eheim Jaeger heater for this install, which is Ryan's favorite because the mechanical bimetal thermostat is completely dissimilar technology for regulating temperature than the aquarium controller's electronic technology. The mechanical thermostat complements the Reef Keeper's electronic temp sensor for a combo that adds different types of redundancy. Honestly, you could use any heater for this setup, but I highly recommend that you at least choose one with its own built-in control. With aquarium controllers, it's very important to calibrate the temp probe first, and the quickest way I've found to calibrate the Reef Keeper is by using the head unit and navigating there from Menu, Modules, RKL, iTemp, and Calibrate. In order to get an accurate calibration, you can use a digital calibration thermometer like this one from Traceable, or you can use a few low-cost thermometers and average their readings for your calibration point. I really like the Reef Keeper's head unit for programming my heaters because it's super easy and only takes a couple of button presses. Before I forget later, I want to set my channel 1 outlet mode to auto so that it'll run the programming we're about to set up. To navigate there, press Menu, Modules, PB4, which stands for Power Bar 4, Channel 1, which is Outlet 1 on the PB4, Mode, and then toggle it to Auto. After that, I can program the heater outlet on my PB4 by pressing Menu, Modules, PB4, Channel 1, Function, and Heater, and then choose my set point, which I'll set to 78 degrees. You'll see the default screen next, which basically tells your heater outlet to be on or off if the power bar loses connection to the head unit. I'm setting my default to off, which will turn my heater's outlet off if the head unit ever stops communicating with the PB4. And since the tank can survive longer at cooler temperatures than it can at higher ones, I don't want my outlet to be on if there's a communication loss. However, if you want to trust your heater's internal control to keep you within an acceptable range, you could set this to on. Outside of programming audible and visual alerts, I'm pretty much done. To set these alerts, I push menu, alarms, Alarm 1, and here I can choose F for flash, B for beep, and I won't choose E for email alerts since I'm not connecting this to the internet. Now I choose my iTemp probe as a device to trigger the alert and set the set point to warn me if my tank is below 77 degrees. Once it's saved, I can do the same for alarm 2, but change it to alert me when the temp is above 80 degrees. And now it's ready to go. If the button presses aren't easy for you, you can program the Reef Keeper using the included SID V2 cable that connects your controller to the MyReef 2.0 software on your computer. Once you have it connected, it's pretty simple to program the same set points and alerts that we just did on the keypad. From the MyReef 2.0 home screen, click PB4, Channel 1 Setup, choose Auto, and click Heater from the Function drop-down menu. I'll choose 78 for my set point, default to off, and set up my alarm. I want alarm 1 to be on, and in the setup screen, I can choose the type of alert, select iTemp for the device controlling the alarm, and enter 77 degrees for my low temp alarm. Within the same setup screen, I can program alarm 2 to activate when my tank temp is above 80 degrees. Now apply the changes, save, and you're done. Finally, the last step is to set my heater's built-in control to a few degrees higher than my desired tank temp, which will allow it to be controlled exclusively by the Reef Keeper. Well guys, that wraps up this installation. If you have more questions, please don't keep them to yourselves because that's what this team of reefers lives for. 
give us a quick call or email, and if you need your answer in the next 60 seconds, hit us up with the chat. See you in the next episode of BRS TV.